Do you know any Arabic uh, words? For some reason, I thought that because I'd learnt when I was little, I would just pick it up really easily again. <laughs> um, but I can say like, Assalamualaikum, Alaikum Salam. I tried my best to learn how to ask for a cup of tea. Mumkin shai wasuka min fadla. Yeah, that's nice. That's good, actually. I am so, so excited to talk to you, Samaya. Please tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, I live with my parents and my two brothers and one sister in Aden. Actually, we used to live in Sana'a. I was born there and grown up there. But uh, when the war started, we um, had to flee to Aden. I mean, my uh, parents thought that it would be safer for us to uh, go to Aden because uh, our house, house in Sana'a was near of uh, dangerous uh, military places. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't uh, visit in Sana'a uh, since then. Since then, I mean. Um, my grandfather, Mohammed, was from um, Aden, so I guess we've got a little connection there now that you're living there for the time being. So you're not at school currently, or are you still able to go to school? Yeah, I am, I am. I am in uh, my last year in uh, school, actually. But, uh, I mean, I'm lucky to have the opportunity to go to school, but unfortunately, other girls don't. Yeah. Do you enjoy going to school? Do you have a favourite subject? Uh, my favourite subject is um, English and uh, math and physics. Oh, lovely. I love English. That was my favourite too. Do you have any role models? I have uh, actually Obra. Obra? Yeah, I love her. She has been uh, through a lot of uh, horrible things in her life. But, uh, but uh, she did uh, also become one of the most successful uh, women around the world. Yeah. I mean, she actually, I, what I learned from her that uh, there's nothing impossible in the world. I mean, I don't think that she knew that she would become this successful, successful woman in the future when she was a little girl. No, that's amazing, actually, that you, you have Oprah as your role model. As a young woman, I think that's really powerful. She is the original role model of, you know, overcoming any obstacle, I think, isn't she? But uh, actually, I want to ask you if you have uh, a Yemeni tradition in your uh, family life in the uh, UK. My grandfather was from Yemen. My grandmother was from Egypt. I have really like fond memories growing up of my granddad going to the mosque and cooking me Yemeni food um, and telling me all these stories about, you know, living in, in Yemen. You know, as I've got older, I feel like uh, once my grandfather passed, passed away when I was 13, I sort of lost a lot of my Yemeni identity because he was the main person in my life who would really champion my Yemeni heritage and encourage me to, to acknowledge it all the time. Do you know any Arabic uh, words? Actually, on, the, on my last tour, um, I tried learning, but it's actually a lot harder. I tried my best to learn how to ask for a cup of tea because I love tea. I can't go day without a cup of tea. So I think I can kind of say it. Mumkin shai wasuka min fadla? How was that? <laughs> yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's good, actually. As a birthday gift, my mum has got me Arabic lessons. So watch this space, Maya. So it's lovely to uh, have you with us today. It's so wonderful to have um, a young a woman like you supporting uh, and being with UNICEF. What is it that you do with UNICEF? My name is Malak. I work with UNICEF in Yemen as an advocacy specialist. It's a country where we, you have 30 million people um, and, and then you have uh, almost um, uh, two thirds of that who are children. And then two thirds of them as well, they're really in need of support. So you're speaking about uh, millions of children who need support either on the education side or the health side or um, the water and sanitation side. I, I still remember this one story of, of a 12 year old girl who dropped out of school for two years. And then thanks, thanks to a UNICEF supported project that put water network uh, to her neighborhood so she was able to go back to school. Yeah, I mean, education is so, so important for young people and to have that sort of stripped away due to conflict and all the other challenges that you're facing in Yemen and then to have 
coronavirus, you know, on top of that, you know, it's really, it's really quite relentless, isn't it? Well, thank you, Malak, and thank you, Sumaya, for, you know, informing myself and everyone else that will be watching this and um, what is going on in Yemen and what UNICEF are doing to help. I really think a lot of people are going to be inspired by your story and I think it's so important to hear this hand from incredible young women like yourself. Um, you are really a remarkable young woman, Samaya, so thank you. It's honestly been really amazing to speak to both of you. Thank you very much, Jade. Oh, thank you. It was really lovely to meet you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye Samaya. Bye, Jade.